Alright, hello there. I wanted to do a video to show you that uh, Walid Shabbat and his son Theodore Shabbat think that the Inquisition was a good thing. I know that sounds crazy, but I'll prove it to you. And I just feel compelled to show you um, in this video from their own mouths um, them saying that what was wrong with the Inquisition and then go on to explain how it was a good thing this is specifically Theodore Shabbat who is Walid Shabbat's son um, but I'll just say that Walid Shabbat didn't disagree and he didn't say anything otherwise and the Hagmans the Hagmans, Joe and Doug, didn't didn't uh, say anything otherwise. They didn't argue. They didn't say what. And neither did Sheila Zelensky, who was at that point doing the weekend report um, on Hagman and Hagman. Now, this was 11 months ago, July 26, 2014. And uh, Walid Shabbat is the guest. Now, here's... Wally Shabbat. Um, he's he's married to a Catholic woman. He is supposedly an ex-terrorist that did some bombing in Israel. Um, he wants to tell everybody that the Antichrist is going to come from uh, the Middle East. And he wants to tell everybody that Bible prophecy has everything to do with the Middle East and nothing to do with the Vatican, nothing to do with uh, America. Um, it's just a little background from what I know. He's uh, wrote he wrote he writes an article. Oh wait, now here's his wife here and his son, and uh, his son's about 24 right now. His son's young, and they're very private, by the way. Um, he wrote an article, Wally Shabbat has an article on his site um, called Shabbat.com and it says, the, them damned Catholics. Uh, and it and it goes through this article. I haven't read the whole thing because I, I can't stomach it, but it doesn't, it's basically defending the Catholics big time and saying that if it wasn't for the Catholics, then the cruc then the uh, Muslims would take would have taken over Europe, and the Protestants didn't do anything. And the Protestants always want to talk bad about the Catholics, but they would have been annihilated if it wasn't for the Muslims. I mean, it wasn't if it wasn't for the Catholics, the Protestants would have been annihilated. <laughs> and this is what this article is about. When the whole the whole reason why there are Muslims is because the Catholic Church created the Muslims in the first place. Of course, they disagree with that. And they call Alberto Rivera, in this same episode, they call Alberto Rivera a fake. That's right. Alberto Rivera, the ex-Jesuit priest whom got killed by the Jesuits, they say that he's a fake. Which, if you ever heard of Alberto Rivera and him preaching, he's no fake. He's absolutely genuine believer of Jesus Christ. These guys, though, I don't hear the gospel of Jesus Christ. All I hear is prideful rhetoric that is basically directing people away from the Vatican and defending the Catholic Church big time. Now, another thing I just have to remark is if it wasn't for the Catholics, the Protestants wouldn't have been slaughtered through the Inquisition that um, officially was around 600 years of slaughter where they killed hundreds of millions of Protestant and before the Protestant Reformation killed Bible believing Christians De you know denied them having the Word of God denied them to believe on Jesus Christ the Catholics are by far the biggest enemy of the Bible and of Jesus Christ that this world has ever seen not the Muslims they created the Muslims if you listen to Walter Veith and you listen to Alberto Rivera even Eric John Phelps, they'll tell you, they'll explain to you. Now, this is Eric John Phelps, he'll tell you 
He'll tell you some things. He won't tell you everything. But the Pope is the Antichrist. The uh, and now here, I want to show you. And futurism is a lie. Let's just say those things. Eric John Phelps won't tell you that. Eric John Phelps also won't tell you that America was uh, founded by godless, uh, godless people who were basically doing the bidding of the Roman Catholics. Now here's Theodore Shabbat. He's only about 23, 24 years old, and he's a very prideful young man. And he's the one that's going to, uh, I'm going to have you listen to right now. So here we go. On the weekend report, you're going to hear uh, Theodore Shabbat talk to a person that calls, somebody that calls, and ask him about Inquisition, and ask him about, you know, the Muslims being created by the Vatican. There's a reason for some of the similarities that we see between the two. That's because Muslims were too uneducated to make up their own architecture, and so when they invaded these Christian countries like Syria, Iraq, and Egypt, which were Catholic, we were Catholic nations when the Muslims invaded them, uh, they took over the churches and made them mosques. So of course you're going to find similarities, because uh, when you steal a building that's not yours, and then you, uh, uh, of course, uh, the, the stolen building is going to have similarities with the with the, uh, the, uh, the one who originated the design. One of the largest uh, mosques well, was a church it, well, in, Cordova, the, in Cordova, in Cordova, uh, it was a church. So yeah, sure, you're going to see the mosque looking like a church, because in Cordova, when they invaded Spain, they converted the church into a mosque. But, but let me also ask, uh, is, is the core still there? Oh, he's not there. Okay, so... Hey, nevertheless, the nevertheless, the yeah. nevertheless, the Inquisition is perpetuated, and it serves exactly the purpose of well, uh, the getting rid of all the infidels, you know, the Islam so what was wrong and the with Catholics. The Inquisition, though? Hold on, what, what was wrong with the Inquisition, though? What was wrong with the Inquisition? Getting yeah, rid of infidels. Getting rid of the infidels. Who are they? What, what was wrong with the true word of God? On, hold on, but have you, ever heard, have you ever heard of the Morisco Revolt? Of the what? All right. Did you hear that? Out of the mouth of Theodore Shabbat. What was wrong with the Inquisition? Wait. What was wrong with the Inquisition? Wait. What was wrong with the Inquisition? He says it three times just in case you, you didn't hear it. What was wrong with the Inquisition? He doesn't know. <laughs> All right, I, I don't think I need to say any more. All right, Wally Shabbat. Oh, I just the only thing I I'm gonna add here is that nobody uh, said anything. Nobody corrected him. Doug, Joe Hagman did not say a word about this, and in fact. And his father, Wally Shabbat, didn't say a word about this, and neither did Sheila, okay? So everyone in this show was okay with this Catholic Inquisitor explaining that it was nothing wrong with the Inquisition. It was actually a good thing. That's what he goes on to say. It's actually a good thing. And I'll put the link to that show in the uh, description below so you can listen to the whole thing and you can hear him hear, hear him talk about how Alberto Rivera was a fake and how that Americans are so stupid that we think that we're gonna that we're in Bible prophecy and we're so important and Europeans you know and it's really just all the Bible is just about the Middle East that's all not about the Vatican that's crazy talk I mean it's crazy talk so these guys are definitely working for the Catholic Church, alright? There's no doubt in my mind that they're working for the Catholic Church. I don't think that he was even a terrorist. There's even questions about whether he even did what he said he did. I think he's a Jesuit. I mean, these guys are... Um, <laughs> they are... 
playing on our hatred towards the Muslims. They they want to they want us to absolutely hate the Muslims. I mean, they talk about the Muslims, the worst people in the world. I mean, they just talk about the Muslims they, on their website. They'll show the things that the Muslims are doing. It's just, I mean, they 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 spare no hatred towards the Muslims. I mean, they they want to everybody just to freak out about the Muslims. Okay, but when it comes to the Catholic Church, they want us to you know just uh, n understand that they're our best friends. They're our protectors. I mean, what does that tell you? These guys are absolutely doing the work of the Roman Catholic Church. And that's why, you know, Wally Shabbat goes on Bill O'Reilly's show. Bill O'Reilly, okay? He goes on True News. He goes on, uh, I think he was even on Michael Savage's show. So he's very mainstream. And I don't know why this guy is even on the radio doing anything. He totally should be just, you know, like, trying to learn something. So obviously, Apple doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? But it's nice that he is on because he is not as tactful as his uh, Jesuit father here. And he uh, lets it fly a little bit. And he kind of, you know, let the cat out of the bag on that one. So I'm going to catch it. I'm going to tell you about it. Wally Shabbat, Theodore Shabbat, enemies of the protest, enemies of the Bible of Jesus Christ, Watch out for these guys. Listen to that show if you want to in the in the in the link below. But I'm just going to put this question to rest because a lot of people are fooled by these by these people and a lot of people are falling into their little, you know, hate the Muslims game that they're playing. The Muslims are just created by the Catholic Church. That's it. All right? Um they created to kill the Jews and the Bible believing Christians in that area. They're 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 nothing more than the the uh than the part of the Inquisition. Alright, ISIS is basically the Jesuits. Okay, that's the same thing that the Jesuits were in the Middle Ages, in the sixteen hundred sixteenth century, seventeenth century. Same thing, people. I'm it just makes me a little sick. I just wanted to expose these people, so my brothers and sisters out there, my pro protestant brothers and sisters, can understand that the uh, Roman Catholic Church is the har the the woman that rides the beast, is the great harlot, and in the the Antichrist is the Pope, okay, and the Jesuits are the army of the Antichrist. Don't be fooled by these fools.